The University of Michigan is now apologizing to potential victims of a former campus doctor. And this comes as an investigation expands into alleged sexual abuse by now deceased Dr. Robert E. Anderson from the university. A former student sparked it all and is now speaking out to Local 4. Here's Nick Monticelli with his story. Good morning. Yes, it's kind of a bombshell at the University of Michigan with new allegations against this former and deceased doctor. But as the headlines continue, so do the number of people complaining they too were abused. The allegations are highly disturbing. On behalf of the university, I apologize to anyone who was harmed by Dr. Anderson. In the University of Michigan Board of Regents meeting, University President Mark Schlissel publicly condemned the alleged actions of a now deceased physician, Robert E. Anderson. He was the former director of the University Health Service and an athletic team physician until 2003. At least seven people have since reported sexual misconduct during exams. I've carried the story almost a half a century before coming forward. Robert Julian Stone is one of them, saying he was a 20-year-old U of M student in 1970 looking for a doctor. I called a friend of mine, a gay friend in Ann Arbor, and I said, look, I don't know, what, who do I go to, who do I see? He said, oh, no problem, go to Dr. Anderson. Dr. Anderson treats all of the gay men. He says Dr. Anderson started undressing and made Stone touch him inappropriately. After this happened, I was horrified. I was absolutely enraged and disgusted. This type of conduct is reprehensible and whether it takes place now or took place in the past, it is unacceptable. And here's a name you may or may not recall, Andy Horvat, who competed in the 2008 Summer Olympics. He too is now coming forward saying that this doctor sexually assaulted him as well. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.